Hey there, you looking kind of cute. Please consider subscribing and check out our Patreon for more. Enjoy the video. Bill drove up to the shopping center and hoped no one would see him. He hurried into the boutique and tried to look like he didn't care. He walked past the clothes and stopped in front of the transformation section. He was looking at different things when a voice woke him up. Can I do something for you, sir? She inquired. Bill was almost scared. He looked back at her. She looked very cute and was probably in her mid-twenty-s. He turned red. Uh, no, many thanks, he answered. Uh, I just want to look. He smiled in a strange way. She gave back a sweet smile. Well, if you need help. She got up and left. Bill sighed and got up to follow her. I do need some help, though. He admitted it. Excuse me, but I'm a little bit nervous. He cracked up. Don't worry, sir, she answered. This happens a lot. What would you like? Everything, really, in fact. He spoke. Most of the time, I've just worn my mom's dresses. He got a little red. She chuckled. It's fine. She got on her knees and took out a big box. Bill got on his knees to help her get it out. Many thanks. She spoke. He was happy. This is called the ultimate package. A lot of these have been sold. It has everything you're going to need. You're lucky too. This is our last. Bill took a look at the box. It promised that you would look like the perfect woman and had a picture of a beautiful blonde girl on the front. How much does it cost? Bill inquired. The whole set usually costs $1.150, but if you have our coupon, you can get it for only $1.75. She smiled once more. Bill looked sad. I don't have the coupon, though. Sad, he said. She got up and went back to the cash register. Bill stood up when she came back. He was given a coupon. Please don't tell anyone I gave it to you. She spoke. Bill gave a big grin and pulled out his wallet. She pulled out a big bag and used it to wrap the box. Bill gave her the money and left the shop. When he got home, he took the things out of the box quickly. He looked inside and found a piece of paper. Many congrats, they said. You have bought the best way to change into a woman. Try on and have fun. No clothes, though. Bill put a bra, a waist cincher, nylons, a long blonde wig, and a pair of gloves on the floor in front of him. He looked at the things with worry, but he put everything on. This made him feel very weird, as if something was happening to him. His waist got smaller and thinner to match his new hips. The hose came after that. He put them on, and by the time he was done, his legs were thinner and had more shape. Everything around it looked and felt real. He found that the better it felt, the more he moved it. Because of the gloves, his arms got smaller, and he now had long red nails. He took a look at himself in the mirror. He really looked like a woman. Even though he still had his face, his body was feminine. This is really cool. He spoke. Bill took the wig and put it on top of his head. He put it on slowly. Bill could feel it dig into his head and stick to his scalp. He grabbed the hair. Ow, he screamed. He took another look in the mirror. It was amazing how much it changed. Bill frowned as he looked at himself in the mirror. He wasn't wearing any makeup, so he just looked like a guy. Someone knocked on the door. Bill ran away from the door. Who's there? He did so. Name is Susie. Come out. Oh, no. Shh, he said to himself. Well, I'm not nice. Come back in a while. Bill, come on. I need to give you something for your mom, she spoke. And it's a lot of weight. Can't you just let it go? Bill, get this door open, Bill groaned. Okay, give me a minute. He ran up to his room and quickly put on his robe. It was almost enough to cover him. He thought he should wear some of his own clothes. He looked at different things in his closet as he dug around. Nothing worked. His hips and were too big for his jeans. Even his shirts were getting too small. Bill, get going. Susie was loud. She rang the bell and banged on the door very hard. This will have to do, I guess, he said as he put on the robe again. He ran downstairs and hid behind the door after opening it. Come in. She put the things down on the coffee table. She turned to look at Bill, and when she did, her mouth fell open. Huh? Yes, it's me, Susie, Bill told us. What, 
what did you do? She inquired. There was nothing. You caught me by surprise, he replied with anger. I bought this ultimate package transformation kit and put it on. I thought I would have the whole night to get dressed up. Now that you are here, though, what do you think? Wow, she spoke. He went over to the big box, picked it up, and carried it over to her. Here we are, he spoke. The only problem is that when I wear a dress, I still look like a guy. Can you assist? She looked at him while he turned his head from side to side. I believe so. She spoke. Let's go up a floor. Bill followed her to the bathroom. He sat while she took everything out of her bag. I might still need a few things. She walked to Patty's room, which was across the hall. Last year, Patty, Bill's twin sister, died in a car accident. Their parents haven't had the heart to clean out her room yet. Okay, then, don't move, she spoke. Some of Patty's foundation was put on his face by Susie. Since they were twins, the color went well with Bill's skin tone. Susie spread it out evenly, and then she worked on his eyes. She lined the top and bottom of his eyes with eyeliner and then used a brown shadow. Then she put on mascara, lip liner, lipstick, and a little powder to keep everything in place. All done, Susie told me. Bill looked at his reflection. Wow, you did very well, he spoke. So, duh. It's how I make a living, she answered. Help me find something for you to wear. They went to Patty's room and looked in her closets. There were many dresses that looked good. Bill chose a blue blouse with spaghetti straps and a cute blue skirt with flowers. Start with these, she spoke. Bill put his robe on the floor and sat down. He put on everything. Good job, Susie told me. I've been doing this for a long time now, but he never had the guts to go out. Susie went to the closet and picked herself out a dress. She did her makeup quickly in the bathroom. I'll have to hear all about it from you, she spoke. He chose a pair of blue shoes with a small two-inch heel. Bill put them on and got to his feet. He walked around the room without much thought. Let's leave. Susie was done with her clothes. She wore a cute red dress with gold shoes and a small gold belt. They went downstairs together. Bill went to the closet to get a jacket, and Susie looked in the box. She put her hand in and took a bottle of blue liquid out. What is it? She put the bottle in her hand. Bill went over and picked it up. Not sure, he answered. Susie brought it back to look at the label, liquid voice. She turned it over and read what was on the back. Oh, this is to make you sound different. It says to put one or two drops in 12 ounces of water. They went to the sink and filled a glass with water. Bill drank it after she added two drops. Well, I don't know, Bill answered. A few times he gulped. It doesn't seem to be working, he spoke. Holy cow, I have a girly voice. He was happy. Okay, then, start moving. What do you want to do on your first night out on your own? Susie spoke up. How about going to clubs, he answered. As he talked, his voice became less loud. Okay, let's go to the Enchanted Forest Club. She gave an idea. Hold on a second. What if we see someone we know? Bill inquired. They'd never know who you were. You look wonderful, she answered. Thank you. He gave it some thought for a while. Bill, come on. Susie grabbed his arm and said. They got ready to leave. They walked down Bill's driveway and got into Susie's car. Bill told Susie about his time as a cross-dresser on the way to the club. It pretty much started when I was a child. Patty's little dresses were always so cute, and I would try them on too. I think I did it to be noticed. It made Dad mad. We were the same size, which was lucky for me. From what I know, they didn't know. I stopped for a while after Patty died. I've only been doing this again for a short time. I'd love to be able to do this full time, but my parents would go crazy if I did. Not at all. I almost can picture it. That must be hard on you, she spoke. Bill gave a shoulder shrug. Do you think this is okay? He wanted to know. I mean, I realize it's kind of late to ask, but I don't want you to freak out or anything. Nah, I don't mind, she answered. Not a big deal. I mean, you should do whatever brings you joy, right? When they got to the front of the club, the door was opened for Bill. Bill saw that a guy was staring, and he laughed at what the guy must be thinking. They walked up to the door and got in line at the back. The doorman called out to them both. You two women can come in right away. He told her to cut the rope that was blocking the door. They walked in together. When they walked into the club, it was packed. 
two men came up to them right away. The first one was a tall man with dark black hair and hazel eyes. He looked like he was from Spain. The second man was shorter than his friend, but had the same build. He had long hair and green eyes. Bill gave Susie a look. He became scared. Don't worry, Susie told me. Bill took a breath and sat down. How are you, said the first one. This is my friend Diego, and my name is Manuel. Diego offered Susie his hand. She grabbed it. This is my friend Andrea, and my name is Susie, Susie answered. Bill looked around and was stunned. Susie gave a shoulder shrug. So, it's nice to meet you both. May we take a seat, he wanted to know. Susie pointed to a table with two chairs. The two men got comfortable. Manuel sat with Susie while Diego sat with Bill. So, you two have never been here before, says Diego. Are you a newcomer? Oh, sure, Bill answered. My family will only be here for a short time. Nervously, he looked around the room. He hoped that no one would know who he was. Manuel and Susie got along right away. They sat close together and laughed and talked. Soon they started dancing. Bill put his hands on his lap and sat down. Do you enjoy dancing? Diego spoke up. Ugh, I don't do very well, Bill answered. Diego gave him a grin and took his hand. Bill followed him to the dance floor. Bill stood in front of Diego and did the best he could to dance. He felt foolish. Even as a guy, he wasn't a good dancer. Diego smiled and looked at him. During the next two songs, Diego stayed in his own space. After they were done, they went back to the table. Manuel and Susie were there already. They took a seat. Bill stood up and Susie took his hand. Join me in the women's room. Bill's face went down. It's fine, I'm good. In fact, she answered. Susie looked at him and almost pulled him out of his seat. They went past the people on the dance floor and into the bathroom for women. Susie began putting on her makeup. She gave Bill a little push to open his purse and do the same. Bill looked around nervously in his purse until he found his lipstick. Bill, are you having fun? Susie said in a soft voice. Shh, Bill answered. I'm Andrea. My name is Andrea. Susie was happy. Uh, okay, Andrea, are you having fun? I suppose so, Bill answered. All of this is new to me, but I've always thought about what it would be like. He was nervous as he watched women go into and out of the bathrooms. Manuel told me that Diego is crazy about you, Susie told me. She chuckled. Bill didn't think it was very funny. I don't like how this makes me feel. Let's leave this place. It's been... He checked the time. Oh, no. It's already past 11 o'clock. In an hour, my parents will be home. You have to take me home so I can change before they get there. She put her eyeliner away. Okay, now we'll leave. When they came out of the bathroom, they saw the two men at the same table with another round of drinks. Diego stood up and smiled when he saw Bill coming. Sorry, but we need to leave, Bill answered. His face went down. Can I give you a call? He wanted to know. I won't be in town for too long. I'm sorry. I did have a lot of fun tonight, though. Thank you. Susie said goodbye to them, and then they left. They drove back to Bill's house and parked in his driveway. I will help you change clothes, Susie told me. Bill gave a nod. They got out of the car and opened the door to the house. Bill's mom was waiting for him on the long couch. When he walked in, she stood up. Bill's face turned red and his jaw fell. Hey, mom, Bill said with a nervous laugh. She got up and brought the box to him in the hallway. What's going on? She inquired. She was very calm, which was odd. Susie was near the door. She put the box down next to Bill's feet. Bill's head dropped. He thought he was going to cry. I apologize. He answered, sorry isn't the right response. She spoke. She looked over at Susie. Did you also help make this happen? Not much, Susie replied in a shy way. Bill's mother gave a snarl. Put that stuff away, she asked for. Bill gave a nod and then turned around. He began to climb the stairs. Hold on a second, his mom told him. He turned and looked at her. I think you should stay a girl since you like dressing like one so much. She looked over at Susie. You should go home, Susie. She spoke. Goodbye, Andrea. 
Bill's mom had her arms crossed. It's Bill, she said this with a nervous smile and left quickly. I'll call you the next day. Sleep well, Mrs. Gregory. I'm really sorry, Mom, Bill told her. She told him to stop. She took his hand and led him up the stairs. You got those clothes out of your sister's room, right? He put his head down. Yes, he answered. Ooh, she shouted. Bill's mother ran up the stairs with a stomp and led him to the bathroom. She sat him down in front of the sink and handed him a bottle of makeup remover. Wash all of that off. She spoke. Bill turned on the water and rubbed all over his face with the makeup remover. He washed all the makeup off his face and gave it a good scrub. He used a towel to dry his face and then turned off the water. His mother had come back into the room with a nightgown. Take off your clothes and put that on, then go downstairs again. She ran out the door and down the stairs in a rage. He grabbed the nightgown and put it on. He sighed and went back down to the basement. He'll be sorry he bought the things. His mom was sitting on the couch with her arms across her chest and her legs crossed. She wasn't smiling. Bill came into the room slowly. Take a seat. She pointed to the chair and said, Since when has this been happening? She inquired. I'm not sure, Mom, he answered. He had his head down. He didn't want to look at her. And what's wrong with the way you talk? She cried out. Bill looked at the table and pointed to the bottle. She took it and looked at the label, then sighed. Are you happy to be a girl? Is that it? You don't like being a boy? She moved closer. Bill gave a head shake. Mom, no. I mean, it's cool to be a boy. I don't know how to explain it. He spoke up, then cleared his throat. He was curious about how long that stuff would last. William, I don't know what to do with you. She spoke. But I think it would be fair if you stayed like that for a while. You will dress and act like a girl for the rest of the week. It's a good thing your dad is in Europe. Bill began to sweat. Now go up to your room and sleep. Tomorrow is a big day. She spoke. Bill ran up the stairs and into his room. His mother went after him. She let him in. Girls sleep in a room for girls? She said this as she pointed across the hall to Patty's room. And since you're sleeping in Patty's room and wearing her clothes, we'll need a girl's name for you. Susie told me that your name is Andrea. Bill got up and walked across the hall, but he didn't want to. He got in Patty's old bed and pulled the covers over his head. His mother shut the door and turned off the light. Andrea, good night. Bill was lying in bed and looking at the ceiling. Bill, you did well. He told himself that. You're an idiot. He touched his long hair with his fingers. When he looked up, he remembered the club. He had a lot of fun going out and flirting with people in that way. But he was thinking about other things, such as what his mother would do for him in the morning. Thanks for watching. Check out Patreon if you want to have early access to the other parts. If not, it will be online in a couple of days.